In a world of concrete and steel, it might be hard to tell, but there is progress. And here at the Backgate Construction Project, it's happening fast. This is the finishing work that we need to get done. Um, as we know, when it comes to wintertime, you can't pour. So there is a, a time constraint to make sure we get most of that work done by the first of the year. On Tuesday, crews showed us what's left to be done before the north and south bridges can open. Up next, barrier walls. So one of the things that's going to be getting done over the next couple weeks is this barrier wall right here, which is actually going to get filled with concrete exactly like the one on the other side of the northbound bridge. Crews work 12 hour days, six days a week to make it all happen. Utilities, lights, all finishing touches. The final work on the bridge, this connector. Now one of the last things that's going to be done in about the next three to four weeks is crews are actually going to join the bridge to the approach right here by laying concrete all the way down right here. And they tell me the reason for that is crews need to be able to maintain constant access from the approach to the bridge right until the very last minute when they lay this concrete down. Horry County spokesperson Lisa Borsier says drivers should be on these bridges by October. Over the last couple of months, people have really started to see it go up. And, and it's interesting. I think when people ride by every couple of days, they see something different that's going on. And they're starting to see the, the finishing touches of the project, and it's exciting. After years of waiting for traffic relief, a light at the end of the tunnel. In Myrtle Beach, Mark Liverman, WPDE News Channel 15.